So here's how to buy hosting for a WordPress website with Hostinger. Even better, as you can see here, they offer a fantastic deal overall. And if you want to get even better, you can click the link down below in the description. And if you do, you'll get taken to a page that's very similar to this. And just for going through my referral link in the description, you'll get an extra 20% off applied at checkout, my way of saying thank you for checking out this video. So allow me to walk you through the process, talk about the pricing plan so we can help find the best one for you. So when you arrive on this page, what you wanna do is click on the claim deal button right here, and it's gonna take you down to the pricing plans where you can pick your perfect plan. Now here is how this is gonna be. We have premium, business, and cloud startup. For a lot of people, premium is gonna be everything you need to create your first website. So if we go down here, you get up to 25 websites. As you can see, manage hosting for WordPress. This is what I use for WordPress, so yes, it definitely works. You get 25 gigs, and of course, from this, you also get 25 mailboxes, and with this, you also get weekly backups. So if you're looking to create your first website, or maybe just maybe one or two, and you don't need a whole lot of traffic, then this is definitely gonna be the option for you. However, for only $1 more per month when paid on a specific term plan, this is going to be the business level which you get upgraded in many more enhanced features. As you can see here, you now get up to 50 websites, you get 50 gigs of storage, and also 50 mailboxes, but a big difference here is gonna be daily backups. If you are like me and feel like you might break your website, which I have done many times in the past, it's nice to know that you have a backup for each specific day compared to the previous plan where it's just gonna be weekly backup, so you might have to go back pretty far and potentially lose out on maybe a lot of content that you created or whatever else that's going on in your website, okay? so. And also another big reason why you'd want to use maybe this plan is going to be for the fact is that you get 100,000 visits monthly around there. And of course, the first plan is going to be around 25,000. So if you feel like you're not going to reach anywhere near this, then yes, the first plan is going to be fantastic for you. But if you want to go with the business plan so you can level up with more power and enhanced features, it's only going to be a dollar extra per month. Let's say you're going to go with this one. I'm going to click on choose plan right here. All right, so now is gonna be the part where we figure out which period you wanna pay for. As you can see here, there's gonna be one month, 12 months, 24, and 48. In my opinion, you should probably never use the one month specifically because it's gonna jack up the price and you're not gonna get any discount. So normally it's gonna come out to $3.19 per month, but if you click right here and give it a moment, you're gonna see that it goes to $14 a month. You don't get any type of discount for that, so that's not what you want. So minimum, what you'd wanna use here is at least the 12 month aspect. But as you see, as you go up, it is gonna get a little bit better. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that yes, you are getting your free domain for a year, but after those 12 months, it's gonna renew at $14 a month for a year. So that's something to keep in mind. As you go up, let's say we go to 24 months, you're gonna see here it's only gonna be $3.19 per month, but it's gonna renew at only $10 a month. But if you go to 48, this is gonna be the best deal possible. This is gonna renew at only $9 per month, and with this, you not only get the free domain, but you get plus three months free are included in this order. So ideally, you get this massive discount already when it comes to using Hostinger, and of course, by going through my link, you get that extra 20% off that's gonna be embedded in that specific link, so you don't have to enter any type of coupon code, it's naturally going to be there. So if you look at it, $153 is gonna be pretty good, Keep in mind there will be some taxes with it, but when it comes to getting 48 months of WordPress hosting, that's a good deal in my opinion, especially for the fact that you're getting a lot of extra perks and features, like depending on the plan that you pick, of course, this one was the business. So all in all after that, what you'd want to do is click on continue. And here is where you're gonna to wanna to register. Make sure you use your primary email address simply for the fact that that's where you're gonna send like your login information and everything else. So allow me to do that very quickly. Click on register and I'll see you on the next page. Make sure you do that as well. All right, and this is gonna be very straightforward. You have your address and all of your information there. And then if you scroll down ever so slightly, you're gonna see that the payment is gonna be down there after you fill out this information. But as you can see, you get the 48 months plan with the business hosting, you get daily backups, three extra free months, the domain name that's gonna be free, the setup, domain privacy protection, and you get all these massive discounts. So it's gonna come out to $153.22 if you go with the business web hosting and the 48 month plan. But nevertheless, that's how you can buy hosting for your WordPress website using Hostinger. They have a fantastic service when it comes to using them for WordPress. I use them myself. And of course, by using my referral link down in the description, you can get a nice little 20% extra off as well, which saves you a good amount of money. 
If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, but it is a very easy and straightforward process, and I hope that it helps you out. Don't forget to check out that link once again to get your nice discount and enjoy.